Hi, I'm Chef Lau, and this is Cooking Together with Roger Mania. For our episode today, I have a very, very special guest. She's my old friend. We've known each other for so long. She's a fantastic cook. She is an author as well with this really, really nice book you should buy. It's Feast With Me. I'm not sure what she's been doing right now. I'm dying to find out who's this person. Welcome, Chef Subiri. Yeah, welcome. Hi, How are Chef. you, Chef? I'm good, I'm good. It's yeah, been, nice um, to see you. I know, Tagal na, grabe. We need to catch up. It's always a pleasure to see you. You're, you you don't look like you're aged oh at God. all. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, despite the you know current situation, I was really able to spend a lot of quality time at home uh, with my children. So, you know, it was sort of a blessing in disguise. Um, to really have that special time with my kids to unwind uh, and really go back to cooking actually because before nice. lockdown before the pandemic I was so hectic and busy doing so many things and then I was forced to slow down and now with work from home talagang I'm really back in the kitchen and very happy to be so that's awesome Steph well for me to know that you're cooking more right now yes. that's awesome Super. and talking about Super. cooking uh, this episode is all about cooking your favorite Filipino dishes, but with a twist. So, Steph said, why not we cook this dish, and what dish is that, Steph? So today, I wanted to cook one of my favorite Filipino dishes, which is Bicol Express. Yes, Bicol Express. Why? Okay, now, me personally, I love Bicol Express because I love super spicy foods. I love, like you, really spicy flavors. I think it's one of the most vibrant of all the Filipino dishes. But the other reason is my mom is actually from Bicol. And she would always say that yung mga Bicolanam ang hang, you know? So <laughs> we're all spicy and uh, hot tempered. Wow. Yes, oh, fiery wow. like the Mayon volcano. So I think uh, it's, yeah, one of my favorite dishes talaga. Cool! I'm happy that you picked Beagle Express. And since this episode is all about, you know, cooking your favorite dish with a twist, I'm curious as how are you gonna do your own twist to this very classic dish, the Beagle Express then? Okay, so a few things, no? Uh, one is I will be using chicken instead of pork. Oh! Okay. Yes, and it'll be chicken thighs that I will be baking in the oven. So basically, one of my pet peeves in Filipino cuisine is that there's no uh, layering of texture. Na parang all the textures are the same. So I am actually going to be roasting my chicken thigh fillets so that the skin is on top and it's crispy in the oven. So you have the crispy skin. Wow, I like that. And then the juice, yeah. like the juicy meat, right, kind of falling off the bone. And then I've kind of basically adopted a Thai technique. So there's no Thai flavors, but I'm gonna be making a Beagle Express paste, like they make a curry paste. Mm. And then I'll be frying okay. out that paste and then cooking it with some coconut milk. And then I will pour that on top of the chicken fillet. So you have that sort of crispy skin, juicy meat, and then like a thick, curry-like sauce, but all the flavors are really Pinoy. You know, your classic Bicol Express flavors. Nice! That sounds yummy, Steph. Can I go to your place? After? Yeah, I'll send you some! <laughs> but deliver ko after. Want... <laughs> so, my question is, Steph, are you doing this for the very first time, this dish? So actually, this is one of my best-selling dishes when I had my restaurant before. And Ooh, it's, it's okay. also in my book, Feast With Me, in the Filipino chapter of my book. Um, and it's also one of my favorite dishes to introduce to all my foreign and expat friends here when I want to cook Filipino food. It's funny because most people will make adobo or sinigang, but I really find that it's such a vibrant expression of Filipino flavors. You have the ginger, lemongrass, the chili, yeah, the, the coconut. Yes. So I think it's, um, it's a really exciting entry into Filipino food. Wow, 
Uh, I can't wait for you to actually cook this. So how do you start doing this? Do you do the paste first? Do you do the chicken first? Or? So the thighs are going to cook a little bit long. I'm going to put them in an the oven. I'm using my really nice La Germania confection oven. And actually, I have many, I have two ovens because I have one for my big, big family, which is like part of the stove. <laughs> but I have a smaller one that's kind of built in so that I can use it every day for roasting chickens with my kids or we're Ooh. making cookies. Okay, show so, me, show me. So basically, I have, I, um, I love these cast iron pans because, you know, they cook quite evenly even in the oven. Hey. Babe, I know. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> So I just have these That's... thigh fillets, so you can use boneless okay. or um, or with bone. This one has bone, but always make sure the skin is on. Okay, I didn't marinate this. I'm just gonna season with a little bit of salt, pepper, and a bit of oil. Okay. Okay. Are these thighs or are these are leg quarters? With, these with are the thighs. You can use leg quarters just if you thighs. wish. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna drizzle with some olive oil. Although, yeah. for the paste, I'm going to be using um, like a more neutral oil. So salt and pepper on the skin. Okay. You really want to salt, like really season this properly because that coconut milk will also kind of like temper the flavors a little bit, right? And then some pepper. And then I'm just going to pop this into a convection oven. And then let that cook for a bit and then I'll put it to the roast setting so that the skin gets even crispier. Okay? Wow, so your La Germania Convection Oven has all that settings built in. The, yes. The, the convection, the roasting. Does it also have a timer? Because mine has. Mine has. It has a timer, which is perfect because I, I always forget. I'm makalimutin. So, <laughs> lalo na I'm baking like cookies or something. I'm not like your wife. She is so good at baking like... <laughs> okay. Tayo, tayo. Me too. I, I yeah. forget everything. So, this is so what I've how got. Many, how many thighs is that? So, this is one, two, three, four, eight. Eight thighs. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so I'll just pop this in my oven really quick. Wow, so what, what Steph is doing right now, instead of your usual just frying the chicken crispy, she's using the La Germania convection oven to roast it, right? Is, is, that, is, that, what, is that what you're doing right now? Uh, and then until the skin becomes crispy and brown, yes. and while that's roasting, I believe you're gonna show me which is, I'm very curious, how, how do you do a Beagle Express piece? Okay, be, are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna move this over to where I've got set up there, okay? So what ingredients do you have there for your, for your Beagle Express piece? Okay, so I have Sealing Sinigang, which is one of my favorites, yes, these long finger seal, chilies. Yes. Um, a bit of labuyo, because we like things spicy. Uh, garlic, ginger, Lemongrass, then some onions, a bit of bagoong, and then a little bit of like canola neutral oil, and then a bit of cilantro, one soy. So wow, that's kind of soy. like my flavor. I love cilantro. What you use? You use a food processor, blender. So I have a food or... processor. A blender works if it's a strong blender. So I'm just okay. Just peel the ginger, rough, rough yeah. chop, right? Same with the onions. Cool. And then the the chili the chilies I'm just chopping like this. So I like using more green chili than red chili because it's a bit milder. So I'm gonna add yeah. some of this bagoong as well in here. Okay, bagoong, nice. And then we'll save a little bit of bagoong for later to season when we're gonna cook it out with the coconut milk. Then some oil. The sauce. All right. And then we're just going to blast it into a paste. Even if you don't have a food processor, make dick dick, you know, mortar and pestle, old school. You know, so if at home, I, I, I suggest that you, you guys be experimental. So you can do different techniques, use uh, maybe substitute some ingredients and all that. You know, be, be adventurous like what Steph is doing right now. But make sure whatever you do, Stay true to the flavor. The flavor, yeah. So we're, I would. We're, we're cooking Bicol Express. It has to taste like Bicol Express, right? Filipino food is a little kulang in fresh herbs, so I like to make a classic dish and 
add some fresh herbs on top. I can't wait for the for the roast chicken with with the Beacon Express paste to come together. My version of the Beacon Express is I'll show you the ingredients. It's pretty much the same with with step. I'm also using some onions and garlic, which is uh, chopped up already. And of course, the Beagle Express won't be Beagle Express if not for the chili peppers or yung mga sile. It has to be spicy. I'm using the same chilies or sile that uh, Steph's using. I'm using green chilies, sili pangsigan, and also the labuyo. I'm also using peppers, bell peppers that, this is not spicy, but they're also from the pepper family. Steph, what do you think this is? What's that? What's this? Sambal. Is it sambal? No, what's this? No, it's not sambal. It's powder. Cayenne? Cayenne. It's, uh, it's, yeah, wow. It, how do you guess? It's, it's <laughs> cayenne. Uh, Oh, it's it's really spicy. It, and it the bites. heat is like, the heat is different, Dad. So like anything like yeah. dried powders, it's a smokier heat. I'm using this too. It's from chilies as well. What's this? Oh, the talbos ng sile. <laughs> yes, I'm using pork, ground pork. It's not uh, chops. Okay. It's ground pork. Beagle Express won't be Beagle Express without bagong. And same like yours, I'll be using bagong alamang. I'm using another kind of bagong. This is Malayan style or fish bagong. This is for my sauce. So I'm gonna cook the sauce separate. And of course, it won't be Beagle Express without gata. I'm using milk. And I'm also using a another coconut product. What's this, Steph? Oh, dried coconut. Oh, no. De yes. The dried coconut meat. So it's, uh, it's like a desiccated coconut. So, yeah, so two but kinds toasted. of coconuts. Nice, kind of toasted. So, Chef Lau, what um, equipment from La Germania will you be using yes. today? Six years ago, I was so blessed that I became the endorser of La Germania because, I mean, I've been using it since I was six years old. Six years ago, this was given to me as a gift. And you're looking at the Bertazzoni induction oven and stove. So as you can see here, this is induction. It's flat, it's, it's so super easy to clean. It's so powerful. And I have a really cool oven as well. And this, you know, this is red, you know, I like red. Yeah, I, I love it. Oh, and Dan, I like red. The paint job for this oven is the same paint job they do for sports cars in Italy. Can you believe that? This is like, these are docks. This is like oh. when you control your heat with your gas. Yeah. So, I don't even have to look at it to control my heat. You know, I can just, you know, cook like this and then just switch it and feel it. It's like controlling a, a gas burner. It reacts the same way. If you make it full, the heat is instant. If you make it low, it really simmers. It's fantastic. After cooking with this uh, Bertazzoni La Germania induction, it's hard for me to go back to the usual gas burner. Okay, so you want me to start with my Eco Express? Yes, please. I want to see. All right, I'm just gonna heat my same pan as steps. I'm also using olive oil. This is an extra virgin olive oil. You can use any kind of oil you like. Yeah, just heat this up. And you know what's good with induction? It takes no time to heat up. Literally in seconds. It's sizzling a bit. So you can see this. Yeah. It's like some sizzle. You can put na your stuff. So I'm just gonna use half of my garlic here. Because what I'm gonna cook first is my stuffing. And then I'm gonna use the other half for my sauce later. So I'm gonna also use some uh, chopped onions. I'm gonna incorporate with my stuffing the green chilies. The red chilies oh. I'm gonna do with my sauce. I will do it with the seeds because I like it really, really spicy. <laughs> So we just roughly slice this thin and add all of this chilies there. So I turn up the heat because I want to brown this before I add my pork, my ground pork. Before I add my ground pork, I'm gonna add this bagong 
alamang. I'm not gonna put so much bagoong in the stuffing because remember I'm gonna use another kind of bagoong in my sauce. So you don't want it to be super salty. Wow! I can smell I that can bagoong smell already. Here. You wanna just saute this for a few seconds and then just put all this nice ground pork. How's that tasting, Chef? Parang gutom na ako. It's good. Um, I'm gonna I'm browning it because I want when you brown food, it, it makes it taste better. Bagong is there, but I'm gonna add a little bit of cake. I'm just gonna add more salt just to bring out the flavors. And now I'm gonna add uh, coconut milk. I'm not gonna add all of it because I'm gonna cook sauce with it as well. So I'm just gonna just to make this you know richer, creamier. I wanna eat that now wow. with rice. <laughs> yeah, ito pala, di ba? Ito pala pwede na eh. Pwede na to eh. So you wanna reduce the coconut milk here until it's a bit dry because again, remember we're gonna stuff this inside our bell peppers or pimiento. You don't want it to be watery, right? Yes. And when you cook with gata, it takes time. You want the natural oils to actually develop and you will know it's ready when you see coconut oil separating from the cream solids or the milk solids. This is the desiccated coconut or the dried coconut that I'll be using like a topping or a crust to my stuffed peppers. Okay, so you can see the gata made this pork creamier and you can see the oil. So I think this is done. This, this is, uh, I'll do a quick check again on the seasoning. Gutom na ako. Mm. Paingi nga. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> this tastes perfect. I'm gonna close this, turn the heat off. Now let's uh, transfer to this uh, pan, and I'm gonna toast my desiccated coconut. It's uh, because so nice. when you toast it, it releases uh, flavors. We're just gonna toast this. Uh, yeah, it's nice and toasty. I think this is good. So I just lowered the heat. I can uh, taste a little bit. Oh, it's not It's not that bad. It creeps up. Woo! That's spicy. Naparame, naparame. I think I placed a bit too much, but this is Legal Express. Again, it has to be spicy. Our coconut crust is great. It's quite spicy. Our stuffing is already nice and creamy. The flavor is fantastic. We're gonna stuff our peppers. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... We have peppers here that I slice in half. I took out all the seeds, the white parts. So we're just gonna lay these. So I'm using uh, local peppers. There's the bell pepper na mas rounded siya. This is more pointed. This is more like a pimiento. Or you can even use jalapenos if you can find jalapenos. Or you can use the green Siling pangsigang if it's big and fat. We'll just get a spoon to stuff all of this nice. Wow, that looks so good. I'm so hungry. Uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna add this nice and toasty. Akala ko ano na to? Coconut. So at least gonna. Woo! I think this is ready for the oven. So now this is set on a regular baking. It's not a convection mode like what uh, Steph is using right now. See all of these features and the temperature I set here is at 175 degrees centigrade. So that's like 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we just open it our nice and hot. You can just pop it anywhere. In invertazoni ovens, the heat is very equally distributed. So this will bake maybe around 20, 25 to 30 minutes. So while we're waiting for my peppers to get nice and soft, what's your next step with you, Steph? Okay. What, what you're gonna do with your stuff? Well, I'm gonna check on my chicken first and see if it's okay. Okay. Wow. So I'm just heating this up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. For the same. I'm gonna add our cur our paste or Bicol Express paste. Now, depending on how spicy you want it. Nice. Okay. So the idea is you want to fry out the spices. So when do you know when it's cooked? When the oil separates and then the color deepens. So at this point, I'm going to check on my chicken because as soon as you put the coconut milk, you want to kind of move quite fast. So if you don't mind, I'll plate everything up as well. So I'm just going to check on my chicken. 
Let's see. Oh. How's the chicken? Can Look I see? At it. Looks amazing. Oh, wow. Perfectly crisp skin. Super crunchy skin. I'm getting hungry. Deba. Okay, so I put that aside. I'm gonna make our curry paste now. So I've got our coconut cream. I'm gonna add it to this. If the cream is too thick, you just dilute with some water, right? I wanna add more bagoong to this because I kind of I really like that bagoong Ooh. flavor. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add about like another <laughs> tablespoon of bagoong. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna plate it up. I'm just gonna show you. So it's it's really like kind of like a Thai curry sauce, right? Okay, so I've got Ooh. my plate here. I'm gonna take our chicken thigh fillets, right? They're super crunchy and crisp. Wow! And you really get that from a good oven. And if you notice, all of them are evenly browned and golden. I didn't turn it around or anything yes. in the oven. And that's because my La Germania yeah. Bertizzoni oven, really, like you said, it heats evenly, right? Oh, wow, yeah. That's Perfect. perfectly cooked okay. chicken, guys. That's how Let me get a roast chicken should look like. Ooh. And then I like to garnish with a lot of fresh wan soy. So that people know it's manghang, I always put like a little... <laughs> wow, that looks absolutely delicious, Steph. I'm excited to see what you have cooked for us. I'm, I'm actually hungry, I'm gonna steal yeah. some chicken. Oh, oh my god, I forgot, I have something baking. <laughs> Okay. So, this is, you can see it's nice and brown. I'll check if the bell peppers are tender. Ooh, it's perfect. Can you see this? Can, I love the way the coconut brown and... Okay, so what's left is basically the sauce. Like, like yours, I'm using basically the same ingredients. I have ginger, lemongrass, tanglad, dahon ng sile or chili yeah. leaves. Like, like I'm thinking maybe puree it. You know, do like some sort of a pesto type thing. I have a blender here. Just put all these chili leaves, dahon ng sile. A bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just to season this, I'm not gonna put salt. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this fish bako. So here we are. This is like pesto, but it's not. It's yeah. just dahon ng sile. Right, so let's cook our sauce, our main sauce. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. Remember the, the garlic, the half of the garlic. All right, so I placed some ginger here, and I'm just gonna brown it again. And then I'm gonna put this lemongrass. I'm gonna put some of the onions, because I'm gonna add now my fish bagoong. Okay, but before I add my gata, I will add this. This is pork stock. So you just wanna make this simmer. This is the main ingredient of any Bicol Express. So I'm gonna add my gata, and this will drastically change also the color of our sauce. I just let this simmer again until you can see the oil separate. Uh, how I like plating my food is, especially if, I, if I'm having a, a very rich sauce like this, is I put my sauce first. So I'm just gonna put the sauce around, maybe drip some of this silly pesto. Wherever you feel like putting the silly pesto. Yeah, look at, look at those bad boys. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we just arrange this on top. You can do your own style of painting. You don't have to follow my style. Wow, that looks so good. All right, so there you go. This is this is the uh, I don't know how to call this. Uh, Bicol Express stuffed peppers. Puede. I'm very sorry, Steph, but I cannot just look at this and not do anything. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna taste it. Yes. Kanina pa ako kain ng kain dukot ng dukot. Cheers. Cheers. I can already imagine. It's spicy. <laughs> you know what, Steph? Can you do me a favor? I will send to you my address. Can you send that? <laughs> 
buy a grab and I'll send you mine so you can taste also mine. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Steph, it's always a pleasure being with you. It's been such a pleasure, you know, to again like catch up nga and then to cook together. You know, it's been a long time that we didn't get to cook together, and I'm so happy yeah. that Germania brought us together. Thank yeah. you so much, Chef. Thank you so much, guys, for watching first episode. Wow, and I hope you guys learned so much with Chef Steph and Chef Lau. I hope this inspires you to do your favorite Filipino food, but do it your way, your style. Again, thank you so much for watching, and this is Cooking Together with La Germania. Thank you guys so, so much. Be rule yeah, breakers, like you. us. Rule breaker style. <laughs> Bye, Chef. Thank you so much, Steph. Hi, guys. It's Chef Law again. I encourage you to leave your comments, suggestions. Uh, if you want any questions you want to ask Steph and I, please do that in La Germania's Facebook page. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. It's been so much fun. I love that we can cook together online and cook with you too so please don't forget to like and follow La Germania's Instagram and Facebook page